here this afternoon. We have a uh, whole program of music of a sort of variety, that would be safe to say. And uh, we want to welcome you here again here this afternoon. But we do want to start with a word of prayer and then a uh, love offering. I know several of our own church folks have been uh, queued in ahead of time so that you may have already given this morning. But we do want to be able to take a love offering for the, the group that is here. And uh, so we'll do that here just as I finish praying. So let's pray. Dear Lord, we do thank you again just for the opportunity that we have to be together here this afternoon uh, in a very light heart, but yet as well just reflecting of who you are. And I just pray that you as well would uh, just encourage our hearts and even in our time of fellowship and our time of, of just uh, spending these moments together here this afternoon, that you would uh, draw our hearts to you and that we'd walk in your steps. I pray as well that you'd be with this group that is here with us and Protect them as they all travel back here later this afternoon. Give them safety as they go. And we continue to bless them for uh, just the service that they provided to us and the blessing that they've been to us here uh, today. And I pray you bless this offering as we give, uh, as a love offering to them. We thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> Some of the uh, the other sacred numbers. We're just going to have a little fun with you. 
Um, and we're going to do a song, and I'd like to actually enlighten you a little bit about this song. The song, Old MacDonald Had a Farm, was originally published in 1917, and it actually, you guys may know this, it wasn't MacDonald, it was originally Old MacDougall's <laughs> Farm. And um, I looked that up on Wikipedia, and that's the way it is. And so, uh, it really doesn't make any difference. But it, Old MacDonald, and Old MacDonald gets a, he gets kind of a bum, a bum rap, because we picture this guy, you know, out on a farm with goats and hogs and stuff like that. But Old Mac was a pretty cultured guy. He actually had some of the great composers there on his farm. And as soon as our third, our fourth guy gets here, where is Joey? Okay. Is he... I am there. I made it. What? Um, oh, okay, uh, Joey. Um, didn't you? You were supposed to dress up for this, Joey. <laughs> no, I dressed up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I understand. Okay. Well, what we'd like to do for you at this time. In fact, I want to start here because uh, I like this idea. We're gonna uh, sing for you at this time. Old McDonald had a farm, but Old McDonald meets the composers. E Bye. 
he had some Disney. Oh, now we're talking. <laughs>
So the next song we're going to sing, um, it goes through the Old Testament. And a lot of times for us in the New Testament context, it's, I don't know, at least in my eyes, it's sometimes it's hard to see God's power in my life. And I know it's there, but he doesn't work in the, you know, the miraculous ways like he did in the Old Testament. But this song looks back at the Old Testament and gives a few characters on how God showed his power in their lives. And for me, this song can still tell me that God's still showing that power in my life today. And I should still be looking for it in my life. Climbing up the mountain, children. Oh, Lord, I didn't, didn't come here for to stay. Oh, brother, if I never more see you again, gonna meet you at the judgment day. Moses went down into Egypt land. He told old Pharaoh, told old Pharaoh that the good Lord sitting on his heavenly throne said, let my people go. Good Lord, let my people go. Climbing up the mountain, children. Oh, Lord, I didn't come here for to stay. Oh, brother. If I never more see you again, gonna meet you at the judgment day. Daniel in the den of Daniel lions. lions, he did begin to, begin pray. to pray. And the angel of the Lord locked the lion's jaw. Mountain children, oh Lord, I didn't come here for to stay. Oh brother, if I never more see you again, gonna meet you at the judgment day. Children in the fiery, fiery furnace, they did begin to begin pray. to pray. And the angel of the Lord put the fire out. That show was a mighty day. Good Lord, show. of this church is because of what Christ has done for us. The purpose that we are praising and singing today is because of what Christ has done for us. And really the reason we do anything in our lives should be because of what Christ has done for us on the cross. And so I encourage you today, if you haven't accepted Jesus' gift of salvation, of what he did on the cross, I, I urge you to do that today. Embrace the cross for your salvation. But if you are living here today and you are saved, embrace the cross as the reason why you live as your motivation for doing everything that you do because of what Christ did for you. And I trust today that our hearts will embrace the cross. No.
took our place. Our hearts embraced the cross where tears streamed down his face. Forsaken and alone, creation looking on. Our hearts embraced the cross where victory was won. Hearts embrace the cross of Christ. Thank you guys. Joey's got to run Samantha back to the airport right now, so we're going to say bye. Bye, Joey. Bye, Sam. Good to see you guys. Uh, I'm going to do a couple piano songs for you now in the remaining minutes that we have left. And uh, this, this next one is a song we've probably all sung since we were little kids. And that is Jesus Loves Me, This I Know. And it's a medley of Jesus Loves Me and Jesus Loves Little Children. But um, it, the, the words of the song say, Jesus loves little children, all the children of the world. Okay, So I thought I would take the song and just... <laughs> throw some different countries in there, okay? So your job is to see if you can pick out the countries that we find in this arrangement. There's probably around five of them or so, okay? So Jesus loves me, and Jesus loves little children, all the children of the world.
Germany, the Umpapas. Good. All right. Excellent. Russia. Wow, is that in there too? Cool. <laughs> All right. China, Japan, Oriental. Okay, good. Thank you, American. All right, and the rest of the song was American. Okay, so. But that counts. That's one of them, right? It's a like country of the world. Two more. Let's see. I think there's two more. Anybody hear any bagpipes in there? I tried to do the bagpipes. It's kind of hard to do on a piano, but Scotland, the bagpipes in there. And, oh wow, I thought this was like the most obvious one other than China. No? Okay. Uh, I, that was kind of like Mexico, Spain, in there, you know. Okay, that's pretty bad when you have to explain it all. That's okay, all right. Um, Mexico! Yeah. Yes, that's the one. All right, good. Well, moving right along. Hopefully we get the idea of the song. Uh, this next song is uh, it's, it's a much softer, you go to sleep type of song. Um, but I don't know if you've ever felt really alone. Um, I'm sure you have. Times in your life that you just feel like, wow, there's just nobody on my side for this. And this is just a, a gospel song that uh, we sing occasionally. And the, the chorus says this, Jesus knows all about our struggles. And he will guide till the day is done. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, no. Yes, I am now going to do it, I guess. 
Um, and uh, it's a song, I'm sorry I played it last year, but we'll do it again by request. And uh, this is a song that I went to arrange and I wanted to give it a military feeling. The name of the song was Honor Christian Soldiers. So when I went to arrange the song with my left hand, through most of the piece, I'll be playing Reveille, which is a familiar military theme. Now when I get to the second verse, I wanted to add some more soldier spirit to it. So with my right hand, I'll be adding Reveille, which is, uh, not Reveille, Charge, excuse me, Reveille's over here, Charge is over here. But I ran into a problem there because I'm playing Reveille with this hand and Charge with this hand. The problem is how do I play the melody on more Christian soldiers? Well, I tried several, several things and uh, this is what I came up with. <laughs>
I know this happened last year as well, when you get to the end, or when he says it's over, and kind of would like to fight with him and convince him otherwise. <laughs> but it was just a blessing, was it not, here this afternoon. Uh, thank you very much for all of you for being here and being a part of our 55th anniversary. And uh, what a joy it was to have the music and just the talent that God has given to them. And we do have some gifts back there for these college guys, even you guys. <laughs> no, we didn't hear you sing. <laughs> uh, so we get those before you leave, and then as well, uh, we certainly want to encourage you. They have some CDs back there. Uh, a lot of the songs that you heard them sing are also on at least one of those CDs. Maybe not Old McDonald's. Not Old McDonald's. <laughs> no Old McDonald's. But the other ones may be on there. And uh, if you already said they're only five dollars, and uh, great music. Yeah, so I encourage you if you're interested in getting any of those CDs. I guess see one of them, and uh, we'll get that squared away for you. I don't know if there's anything else I'm forgetting. Let's stand and we'll close with a word of prayer, and then we'll be dismissed. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you again just for the opportunity that we had just to uh, have some fellowship here this afternoon, just the uh, lighthearted, but yes, also a reflection of who you are, even in this very final song. And I just pray that you would... Uh, go with us as we go our separate ways. Continue to use us as you see fit. And I pray that we'd be bold enough and, and humble enough uh, to follow and trust in you. And I thank you for what you will do. In Jesus' name, amen.